Newcastle Marina to haul out. It's the first time I've hauled this boat out and it's uh, it's not been painted for two years and it was rather low quality paint that was put on it last so I'm putting a CST uh, Micron by Angelux on it which is supposed to last a true two years so hopefully that's true. Either way it's going to be a vast improvement. I'm motoring along at about four knots right now at my running RPM when I should be going more like six or six and a half. So this will be a big big improvement. I'm really excited to be able to sail faster and be able to sail reasonably in light winds again. So yeah, excited time. Just got lots of folks coming to help out, so I'm pretty pretty excited for this. Naturally, I didn't get much filming done uh, while in the shipyard, what with having to do the whole, all the labor of it. Um, but I had lots of help from my friends, from my friend Kyle, um, Ian, and from Alex, and well, as well as Hannah was there, of course. And um, we got everything done, and we were actually done nice and early. I was, we were pretty much finished by Saturday evening, and had Sunday just to tinker. Um, but we did the, we did a wet sanding strategy where we um, used drywall sanding pads. Um, to get rid of all the old paint and then be able to put the nice new fresh um, Micron CSC in and then from there we uh, just did the painting um, We scraped and polished up the prop and then I did a, a zinc spray on it it's Supposed to prevent growth at least for a year. So hopefully that does work um, Obviously in the pictures there we see that there's a lot of growth that happened on the prop and it was definitely slowing me down a lot especially under power um, and there was also one through hole that I had to take apart, which was no big deal. It came out really easy and I was able to clean it up, grease it back up, and it works great now. Um, but it was a really simple hollow. Um, replaced the zinc, um, rebedded the zinc bolts, and the zinc um, is just one big zinc that's bonded to everything throughout the boat. Having now done the wet sanding method, I definitely will not be going back to dry sanding. Um, it's just so much easier and it go, went really fast. Um, you don't have to tarp the boat, boat up. You don't have to wear respirators while you're doing it. Um, so you're basically just using these screens for drywall. Um, and you're just constantly dipping into a bucket of water and spraying the hull down and sanding, sanding, sanding. You dip it up, dip it back in the water. And we only used like, I don't know, two or three of these sanding uh, pads for the whole hull. Um, and it only took in the morning really into the early afternoon so it went by really fast and uh without the dust and without having to wear that respirator and stuff so it's it's the way to go for sure i won't ever use dry sanding again really really nice on, on as a way to remove bottom paint and I, i'd highly recommend doing that um, for anyone that's watching this Couchin Bay might pull into Ladysmith for the night. We'll see what if there's any wind worthwhile sailing and once I get through Don Narrows here. But uh, yeah, just arriving right at Slack. Lots of traffic, a couple log booms. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty phenomenal change since I've done the haul out now. Um, I was cruising at like oh four knots when I was running at 2100 uh, RPM or 2000 RPM. But now I'm running at 1800 RPM, which is where this engine is happiest. And I'm going anywhere between five and a half to 6.8 knots. There's lots of current around here, so I'm not exactly sure what the uh, speed through the water is gonna be, but I'll find out soon. Just looking south into Dodd Narrows. See Round Island straight ahead. And there's a sailboat cruising through. Should have about uh, one or two knots of current as I go through here. So just a nice little boost, but enough, not so much that I'll have any issues with steerage. An evil little deadhead. I'll watch out for these suckers, just barely above the surface. It'd be hard to see that if there's any more chop than this. So 
here's the uh, little spot that's a bit sketchy if you go through when there's too much current in a slow moving sailboat or vessel in, in general. Um, the current kind of launches straight ahead here into the shore and then there could be a whole lot of back eddies right here as I can sort of see right now. Um, but with this current, like a couple knots, um, this is just perfect. I'm getting a nice little boost, going seven and a half knots right now. And, uh, but I'm, I got lots of steerage, I got lots of reserve power on my throttle if I needed it. But all good here. Excellent diving to come through here. You see a big back eddy right here. On the way north, you can use this back eddy um, to get right up to that point and then just press through if you're a little late or a little early and have to face some current. Uh, slow, slow sailing, a nice little breeze has come up. Not that much, it's probably not even 10 knots. But with a nice clean bottom, I'm cruising along at like five and a half, even six knots right now. I'm so happy, it's so nice to have the boat's bottom nice and tidy and clean and the prop clear barnacles. Fortunately, I didn't put my uh, wind vane rudder on this morning, so I'll just be stuck steering myself. That's okay. Yeah, cruising along nice and fast. Barely even a breeze. It's like, I don't even think it's 10 knots right now. And I'm cruising along at five and six knots. So yeah, so happy having a clean, um, freshly painted bottom of the boat again. Just reaching along um, by the North Anathetis Island here with Lady Smith um, just across from me, um, yellow point behind me, and having a really nice sail. Um, the forecast had said southeast um, and east through this evening. I'm getting kind of a northeast breeze right now, allowing me to basically the reach. Um, so despite it being pretty light, I don't know what, maybe 10 knots, probably not closer to seven or six or something. I'm cruising along at like, yeah, four to five knots right now. So this is pretty nice. The wind's picking up now and switch to uh, to southeast as it was forecast to do. Um, yeah, cruising along pretty good here. I'm just off Shemanus right now. Put a bit of a, uh, furl up some Genoa. Uh, yeah, this is pretty, pretty nice sail here. Little sun shower action. It's kind of raining now, but it's sunny, so I'm not really getting that wet yet. We'll see. Cruising along close hauled, right near uh, Crofton here. Been tacking all the, all the way up here, and uh, got the sails balanced, so they're steering for me while I do this little recording. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice sailing. Super nice having the bottom clean. I probably said that five times, but. Oh man, it's good. Real good. It's gonna be a lot more fun sailing now that I can make a lot more speed and, and cover a lot more ground at the same amount of time as before. Just bombing along here, getting past Crofton. Starting to head into Sansom Narrows shortly. It's the first part of it. Um, I'm just at the edge of needing to reef. I have the uh, Genoa reefed um, quite a bit but the main sail main sail is still full. Um, but if the wind comes up anymore, I'll, uh, I'll need to reef it down. But Cedric McClyde can carry quite a lot of sail. Um, it's a pretty heavy boat, really stiff boat. So um, I don't really have to start reefing when I'm close hauled until it's like over 15 knots at least. Um, and probably the main at 20 and it's starting to push that. But having a great sail, cruising along at five, six, seven knots. Um, even though I'm against the current, so having a great time here. Coming into Sansom Narrows here, into the uh, tidal portion where you actually see current. Um, happens that I'm showing up right when slack is at, and then turning in my favor, which is pretty nice. That's Burgoyne Bay, Mount Maxwell, and back there is Maple Bay the rest of Sansom Narrows back there. Just got past the narrow part, right back there. There's a fellow sailing through as well. There's stony hills, beautiful uh, hiking trails up there, and there's also some rock climbing on those cliffs. 
yeah, home stretch here. Uh, really nice timing. I came through right as the uh, tide was basically slack, and I should be uh, starting to get a little boost of current. Might be fighting a little bit right now, but really nice out. Beautiful evening. Just coming up on separation point, which is the point that uh, starts Cowichan Bay, basically. Um, so it's taking me about nine hours to get here from Nanama Harbor, which included a whole bunch of tacking. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's been a really nice day. We had a couple little light showers. Um, and some fun sailing. Never had to reef the main, which was kind of nice. But uh, reef the Genoa several times. Uh, but I'm under full sail now and should be able to sail right to the dock. I only had to motor for like, I don't know, an hour out of the, the whole day. Hour out of, I think, 30 miles. This is, or maybe it's more than that, maybe more like 35. Anyways, really nice day.